What's up everyone, Garrett here from Code the Web, and in this video we're going to talk about Agile Development. So Agile Development is something that was created in 2001 by a group of developers who needed a better way to develop their products and to better way, a better workflow in developing their products. And it was later put together as 12 principles, which they incorporated into a manifesto, which you can find a link for in the description below. Within Agile Development, there are a number of more refined approaches than the most popular of which would be Scrum. The way it works is you go through a series of sprints and in each sprint you go through the whole cycle of developing and, and designing and, and testing and coming up with all these ideas. And at the end of each cycle, the idea is that, or the end of each sprint, I should say, the idea is that you're able to work on the product or the project in incremental cycles. And at each cycle, when each cycle passes, you kind of developed or you've created um, a different slice of the finished product so that by the time you're done with all these these sprints, the entire product then comes together and is finished. Agile development is very attractive to big companies and even small companies and startups uh, because it's very social, whereas in, in the other more traditional waterfall practice or method, um, it's not as social. And you can see by these two diagrams, which I'm actually going to put up right now, um, agile development, the designer and the developer and the entire team really work together throughout the entire project. Whereas in the waterfall method or approach, um, the each so the designer will have you know will have their turn and then once they're done, they'll pass it along to the developer and so on and so forth until you get to the finished product. But each person really works individually with a very limited amount of social interaction between each step and each stage and each person working uh, within, you know, the different stages. So now let's talk about how agile development works. Uh, the way it works is you have a few things. One, you have what's called a product backlog. Now within the product backlog, you have um, every feature that needs to go into the product uh, is written down individually on an index card or multiple index cards. And then you put them, you post them on a board, which I'll show you guys a picture of here. Uh, you post them on a board and they are semantically structured usually from the perspective of a person or multiple people. All right, next we have the sprint catalog. Now, the sprint catalog is where uh, both the, the sorry, the sprint catalog is where both the designer and the developer will estimate how long each uh, each task will take. And from there, the tasks are or not just the tasks, but the features are given a size from uh, extra large, large, medium and small. And from there, they're structured and put into different sprints, which are then uh, become the, the incremental cycles. All right, next we have what are called buckets. Now, buckets are a way for us, or another way for us, to see the progress of what's going on in our development, as well as see the big picture perspective of everything that has to go into it. Um, now, examples of buckets would be in progress, current sprint, in review, blocked, things like that. So really, buckets are a way for us to see um, not exactly, you know, the all of the features that are going to be in our finished product, but just how far along in progress we are and what exactly is happening at this very moment, what will be happening tomorrow, the next day, so on and so forth, and even back in the past. Um, an example of uh, somewhere where you guys can go to use this exact method or uh, technique or approach would be an online website or a web app called Trello. I actually use it for my development when I make websites just for myself. Um, it's a really, really cool um, web app. I'll, I'll even make a video on it if you guys are interested in seeing how it works and what it's all about. Um, it's really, really cool. The picture that I have right here or here, wherever, um, is pretty much what Trello looks like. Uh, and it's really, really amazing. You can you can make as many buckets as you want. or as, I think they call them boards or buckets. I'm not sure which. But um, you can make as many as you want. And you can move. You can have, so like if you have a in-progress next up, so on and so forth, right? You can uh, move the actual, they call it cards. You can move the actual card from bucket to bucket, which is a really, really cool thing. It's actually exactly what we're talking about. So if you guys are interested, I'll make a video on that, but I definitely recommend checking that out because it's really, really cool. So last, last two things we got here. First is the daily meeting. So meetings, I know they can be really good. They can be really bad. They can also be anywhere in between. They're kind of a, a hit or miss type thing sometimes. Um, but daily meetings in, in Scrum or in Agile development are very important because they allow everyone to get up, kind of like a stand-up type of atmosphere. You can just get up, talk about what you were doing, what you are doing, 
uh, what's done, what needs to be done, and you really set the pace for the day. Whether you do it in the morning, you set the pace for that day, or you do it at the end of the day, you set the pace for the next day, uh, whichever way you decide to do it. But daily meetings are very important because they let everyone know what's going on and they keep everyone up to date with uh, everything that's happening within the project development. All right, so last but really, really important are the shippable increments. And I kind of touched on this before, but basically what shippable increments are is just the incremental cycles uh, that you're doing, that you go through. So when you go on these sprints, you're working on an incremental cycle. And what happens is the idea is that after every sprint, you can have a, a little slice of the product that's ready to go, right? And that if, let's say you have, I don't know how many sprints, whatever it takes for you to finish your product, by the end of all those sprints, the product is completely done. It's ready to be shipped. It's ready to go. It's ready to be used. Whatever it is, it's just, it's ready. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, definitely subscribe because we come out with videos like this, more so design videos, but we come out with videos like this all the time. So definitely check this out. Subscribe, rate, comment, all that stuff. Also, links to everything we talked about today in the description below, as well as our Facebook and Twitter links. Definitely like us on Facebook and uh, follow us on Twitter. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Peace.